Hi, I'm Jay French from jaysfrenchstudios.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw graffiti. Of course, graffiti is usually done with spray paint, um, and we don't endorse uh, vandalizing buildings, but it's still a great art form. <laughs> so, most of graffiti revolves around words. So we're going to do uh, we're going to do a word, and a good thing to start out with is just to draw. We're going to use a nickname. Let's say my nickname, Shatter. Just draw some letters. You can make them a little odd if you want. I made the line on the H really high. I'm going to make the line on the A really low. I'm going to make the T's one part. But for the most part, you're just drawing standard letters to begin with. I'm going to do the line on the E really high, too. And do the same thing with the R going low. Now, these are kind of close together, but that's okay for this. And then you outline them, and that's when you start to get funky. Do some dramatic curves. Let's make the lower end of this a lot fatter, like that. Uh, we're going to put a little curve to each of them, and we're going to carry that throughout the whole the whole image. Some overlap is always good. Again, we're going to make this narrow. We're going to make that angled. Make it get wider. Put some curve to the bottom of that, and you'll see that it's still legible, although in graffiti, it's quite okay to get it to where you really can hardly read it anymore. And we're going to give this a weird angle. And what you'll do is you can either go over this with ink, and we're going to make the T's grouped together here, or you can uh, just erase your original pencil lines. We're going to put a little spike to the T's to give a more refined look. Or you can just use this as a rough sketch and start over once you've got your design sort of worked out. Because you can change things as you go and come up with something that's your personal style that looks really cool to you. And Okay, we're going to throw a little mix into this and put the curl down here. You always want to overlap carry that spike over here as well. We're going to make this edge of the R look, downright look like a blade. <laughs> That's some fun. And here, we'll actually have the curl on the inside. From there, you can get a lot more of a graffiti look by shading one side, put some dimensionality to it. Let's say your light source is coming from over here. Top right, slightly to the front. So you don't have to worry too much about the front here. And just generally, and there's no right way to do this. There's always some interpretation, depending on, you know, of course, in reality, it would depend on the brightness and the closeness of the light source. But as to where exactly would be shaded and what wouldn't, especially on curves. But from here, you start to get more of a graffiti look with dimensionality. Now, another thing you can do is you can go in and add some details like cracks, crumbling, if you want to give some texture to your letters. You'll see this in a lot of graffiti art. Do some search on the web, find some uh, graffiti art references, and you'll find what you like best which style you want to mimic the most. And that is the essence of drawing graffiti.